thanks for joining me. Um, I've been losing satellite signal too much and I'm not too confident about the reliability and the stability of the um, shielding for the GPS module on my new Hubson H501S. So I'm going to open it up and see if we can improve the shielding. Okay, so that's eight screws off um, underneath the arms there. Okay, so that's 16 screws removed. Okay, now, how is this going to... Separate. Okay, so then there are also two very small screws, one on the point on the tip and one on the in here that look as though they need to be removed too. Okay, so that's all for the tiny screws removed now. Let's see if we can part the casing. So just doing this gently, something holding it there, something holding it that I'm not familiar with. Okay, so that's the upper and bottom body shell done. Okay, there's a wire here that's come loose. Okay, and it looks as though it must be from this connection there. And then if we have a look here, this will be the GPS module situated on the top here. So, just need to remove this other little clip here. Okay, and that's the top cover off here, and this is the GPS module situated on the top canopy, so it's situated over here. And while we're here, let's just have a look inside. So I guess, here's the main little PCB board. Okay. A lot of it held together with some sort of substance for the contacts, which is good. It should help it not uh, come loose. This looks to be the little receiver. Okay, ESCs, small ESCs situated in the arms here. Okay. Doesn't look as though there's any particular color coding. We've got red, yellow, and black. Red, yellow, and black. Red, yellow, and black. Red, yellow, and black. So all the ESCs seem to be the same. Battery connected connector soldered on there quite well and quite good. So Let's have a closer look 
at this here. So if I pull back here, so if I pull this back, here's the GPS module here. And really there's not much protecting it, covering it, just this sort of nylon feeling little sheet. So yes, it could, you know, <coughs> the, all the electrics on, on the bottom part could interfere with the GPS. So I'm going to put some copper shielding on here. Okay. And by using copper shielding, it'll help prevent uh, interference with the GPS module. Okay, so here I've got some copper shielding tape. Okay, um, it's sticky on the one side and then you've got the shielding over here. So basically I need to put it over the module so that it'll protect it and shield the electronics away. So let me just cut this out here. I'm going to stick this on and over here and make sure it's fastened nicely and it adheres to that protective layer that's already there. Okay, so basically because it's copper shielding it'll reflect the uh, stuff from the board. Um, and prevent or minim help minimize interference from any electronics to the GPS module here. I've got a bit of extra tape so I'm going to put a double layer of this on. Yeah, like this. Oops. Okay, and that's it. Let's just put it back together again. So I need to plug this back in again over here. Okay, not easy to show you this, sorry, but um, I've got to get this plugged back in here. Okay, then just make sure you get the two uh, connections for the module back on properly. Um, wires out of the way. line it up, pillars into the four corners first, click that in, click that in, click that in there, click that in there. Okay, and now we need to just put all the screws back in again. Okay, that's it, all back together again, all nicely sealed, made sure the screws are all tight, and now let's, we'll need to just take it out and see if the reliability um, of staying connected to satellites has improved. Thanks for watching, Terrier.